I'm a person who is very sensitive and emotional, and that's why I easily get hurt. It's been two months since I had a breakup with a guy, and I'm just not able to move on. It's affecting me a lot. I didn't want this to happen, even though I never expected this from him. It has broken me completely from my inside. I've lost myself. I've lost my mental peace, and I feel so lonely and incomplete without you. And it's even more painful when I see that guy with some other girl. I still want him in my life, although now I know that it is not possible because he has completely moved on. What should I now do? Because it's harming me and my career and my future. You are saying it has broken you completely from the inside. No, you are lying. Have you been completely broken from the inside? Then there would have been nobody left inside to experience the hurt. What you call as the inside is just the ego inside, and the ego is a very magical thing. It becomes stronger. When it gets hurt, it is not as if it loses its power when it gets hurt. The more you hurt it, the more strength it gathers. So, first of all, please understand that you have a lot inside, a lot that has only become more cemented, more solidified. After this episode, had you been really empty from inside, who would have received the hurt? The arrow hits you only when you block the arrow, right? Otherwise, it could goes past you. What is it within you that is blocking the happening? You are hurt because you do not like what is happening. Your resistance is hurting you. An arrow comes to you. You obstruct it with your hand. It is the obstruction that you offer that will pierce your hand, right? You do not offer any obstruction to the arrow. The arrow just passes you by. Why are you obstructing the happening? The fellow has moved on. And the population of the world is 800 crore. He is with another girl. Now why are you begging after him? What will you get from him? Crumbs of love? You want love as donation, charity? And even if that is given to you, would that satisfy you? And if he was so dear to you, why was not there much compatibility? Why did the breakup happen? And if you are you, and he is what he is, then won't the breakup happen again? You insist on remaining who you are, that is why you are hurt. You insist on remaining who you are, that is why you want the guy back. But if you insist on remaining who you are, you won't be able to retain the guy. Are you prepared to really change? Are you prepared to not to be the one who experienced that attraction? You know that you do not want to do because probably you have some sweet and happy memories. But at least you do not want to be the one who is experiencing all the suffering 
all the hard work right and that is why you have asked this question you don't want to be continuously and any more in misery if you do not want to be any more in misery stop being who you are you have seen the consequence of who you are and still you do not want to wake up do you know who you are you are the one who will accept this guy back if he comes to your life do you know who you are you are the one who will again have a quarrel with this guy do you know who you are you are the one who will again have a breakup and who will again shed tears when the guy goes away you want to remain caught in this cycle please do not remain caught in this cycle guys come and go there is nobody more important than your own peace you do not want a person so that he may cause you disturbance when you want a person you actually want peace and contentment through that person don't you or do you invite a person to your life so that he may harass you why do you open your doors to somebody because that person promises to be the vehicle of contentment peace right you very well know what you open your doors to are you opening your doors to contentment contentment is more valuable than any relationship relationships are a medium contentment is the end relationships are mere mediums they are like roads they must lead to contentment contentment they must contain contentment if there is no contentment in the relationship why do you want that relationship the quality of your love depends on the quality of your life your love affair cannot be a sublime thing if your life is mired in littleness we all want our love affairs to be fairy tales and we don't look at our lives we are little people afraid desires ambitious suspicious that is how we live now how can you have a fairy tale love affair who is this lover that you will attract yourself to what is the quality of your being who will be attracted to this being please you look at these pictures who would be the women these men would attract to them what would be the quality of their relationship if they were married would they be compatible with any woman on the road think of him ashtavakra nanak kabir abud amhavi some of them were married imagine the others are also married now think of their spouses think of their wives what kind of a man would a leshwari take as husband she indeed did have a husband could she go along with him at the age of 22 she split if you live as a petty one you will only invite a petty being to your life and then there will be more suffering and more suffering what is the point in remaining caught in this cycle elevate yourself transform yourself and then see who comes to you then you will know what love really is <laughs>